Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another tutorial video. Okay, so this video is for the viewers who are facing this problem. Okay, so you may have tried relocking your bootloader on your Motorola device. I'm using the G8 Plus and you get this message, your device is corrupt, it can't be trusted and it will not boot. So you've probably tried using the rescue and smart assistant the Lenovo rescue and smart assistant you've tried the rescue option rescue now you've put in your model name sometimes this can work to fix the issue so mine's the Moto G8 Plus 8th Gen follow the instructions on the left boot the device into fast boot flash mode so let's try that put it into fast boot flash mode so let's power off the device and put it into fast boot mode by holding the volume down button and the power button device connected motor phone let's choose model name Moto G Plus 8th Gen Model Number XT2019 Slash 1 Rescue Now So let's just wait for it to match firmware Ok so I'm getting this issue Unable to match the appropriate firmware Some key information cannot be read from this device So the Lenovo Rescue is not working for me In some cases it might work for you to fix the issue, but yeah Every time I try to start the device. I just keep getting this message So if Lenovo rescue isn't working for you I'm going to show you how to fix this issue Okay, so just go to the Motorola Unlock Bootloader website. And then Download the minimal ADB and fastboot from the link in the description down below. Install it. And it should be on the C drive. Program files x86, that's where it should have installed to minimal ADB and fastboot. And then just go back to the Motorola website. <coughs> and you're just going to copy this string. You're going to copy the entire thing Ok so I have copied it already But when you copy it When you copy it, it's 
going to look like this. So you need to delete that first line, fastboot OEM unlock data, and you need to delete the bootloader each of these. So then you've just got the numbers like I have here. So you just want these numbers. So delete all of that and just keep these numbers. And then copy them numbers. Go back to the website. And scroll down to this box here, number six, and you're just going to paste all them numbers in to there. And you're going to remove all the spaces. So, as you can see, there's a space there, so you're going to remove the space. Find all the spaces and you want to remove all the spaces, don't leave any spaces. Okay, so I've closed up all the gaps there, so you can see there's no spaces. And then hit, can my device be unlocked? Hit OK. If yours says it can't be unlocked, um, just close all this down and just start again until it tells you that it can be unlocked. Because sometimes it will say it can't be unlocked. And then just hit OK. Scroll down to where it says I agree and then just select request unlock key ok And then you should get an email. Okay, should take you to this page. You should get an email at your email address that you used to log into this Motorola site. So the same email address that you used to log into this site, you're just going to check the email on your phone. Okay, so I've just got the email at 1620. As you can see, it's 1620 right there. Okay, so here's my unlock code. Okay, so just go back to the C drive where you installed the minimal ADB fastboot earlier. <coughs> so C drive, program files x86, minimal ADB and fastboot. And with the phone connected to the USB cable and the PC, just simply Press shift on your, find a blank space in here and press shift on your keyboard and right click on your mouse and then select open command window here. Then go back to the Motorola page. And copy this. Fastboot space OEM unlock.
and type it into or paste it into that window there and right where it says unlock leave a space and then you're gonna put in your unlock code that you just received from Motorola what, what they just emailed to you so I'm just gonna type that in real quick okay so just type in the code on focus camera okay so my code has been typed in and then just hit enter on the keyboard Okay, I've made a slight mistake there, guys. I need to put the phone into fast boot mode. So, volume down and power. Okay, so if you made that mistake with, um, like what I did, the command has already been sent. So, all you have to do is put it into fast boot mode by pressing volume down and power and this message will come up saying do not unlock the bootloader unlock the bootloader so just use the volume down button and select unlock the bootloader I don't know if you can all see that so use the volume down button and highlight unlock the bootloader and then press the power button to select it and then just hit start on the phone here by selecting the power button and the device should then boot up and this will work with any Motorola device not just the Moto G8 Plus So if you have that problem when you was trying to relock the bootloader and it says that um, your device is now corrupted and it cannot boot, this is the way to fix it. Or like I showed in the beginning of the video, if you try to use the Lenovo Rescue and Smart Assistant and if that did not help to fix it, this method will. So I'm just going to get back into the system and show you that nothing's being corrupted. Everything is quite okay. So 
So as you can see guys, I'm back into my phone. Everything is fine, as you can see there. So yeah guys, that was just my quick tutorial showing you how to fix that issue. And like I said, this will work with um, any other Motorola device, not just for G8+. Plus. So yeah, be sure to like and share this video. Let me know if it helped you out in the comment section down below. It's your boy, the Android Doctor, and I'm out. Deuces.